I want to talk about the different perspective of modern Western medicine and traditional Chinese medicine. Take this black box as an example. Imagine this black box is human body. Modern medical science, they study human body by opening it up, study each and every organs of it and the structures of human body from and then it, from anatomy, it moves to cell biology and then the biochemistry. With all this scientific school of understanding, they form, they form a theories, a series of theories which eventually apply into medical practice as we know today. On the other hand, Chinese medicine, they don't open up or they don't disrupt this box. They study the, how this box function, how this human body function by observing the interaction of human body with the environment or if, with the nature. It takes into con consideration of multi-dimension, which is beyond physical dimension. In the, for example, they study the, they, they observe the energy level of the body or of a person, and then they take into consideration the mind and spiritual aspect of it. And then that is how the philosophical framework of Chinese medicine is formed. In short, Modern science or modern Western medicine science, they give us a micro perspective, perspective view of human body on how to function, whereas Chinese medicine, it provides a philosophic, philosophical framework that gives us a macro, macro view of how human body interact with the nature or environment in order to understand how to build, uh, how to maintain a harmony of, of, of body so that a person can achieve better health and a happy life. As more and more people understand or realize the limitation of science, they are, they are ready to accept enlightenment from the ancient wisdoms. And with the help of the technologies we have now in terms of medical technologies and te information technologies, the stage is set, is ready for the integration of Western medicine and ancient Chinese medicine. The, the wisdom of ancient Chinese medicine which can be fusion to form a new perspective. All, all we need is just someone to take action, to kickstart a revolution that can change the landscape of healthcare in the world today, who might, which might provide a new solution that solves the chronic diseases that we are facing now. I call this revolution the Renaissance 2.0. Thank you.